thanks, Paul Stanzioni. I'm the executive director. Actually, Kid Fest has been going on now for about four years, and combining it with Backpack Attack, uh, we're now in our third year. There's a combination of large donations. Uh, as an example, ADM uh, is a large supporter of this program. That's how we receive a lot of the supplies. Uh, we also have other donors. Caterpillar is a main funder, uh, and they pretty much cover the cost of the books because we also try to make sure every child gets an age-appropriate book as well. Then all the other uh, donors help out with either providing funds so we could continue to buy supplies and backpacks or they uh, provide uh, some other type of donation whether it's an in-kind such as food from Decatur Memorial Hospital or if it's um, other funds to use so that we can get all the other types of things that are needed to run the show here. Backpack Attack actually was started uh, about three years ago and the name came from uh, the folks at Newhoff Media. Their creative staff there thought of the name uh, and uh, ADM also thought of that Backpack Attack and Kid Fest philosophy. Now, before the YMCA started doing the supply giveaway, though, there was an agency called Project Success, and they did a terrific job of providing the supplies to the kids in the community. Unfortunately, that organization uh, is no longer in existence. So the Y is very proud to continue to serve the kids. We're going to give out over 2,200 backpacks today. We had planned and we had purchased uh, 2,200 because of the number we gave out last year. We had so many more donations from the businesses and from the people in the community that we have additional backpacks to add into it. So I know for sure we'll be well over 2,200.